<clears throat> someone okay. told me someone told me the other day they said that when they first started following our account they thought that i was kind of strange <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Magic Hello. Hello. Hello, Michael. How are you? Great. Um, can I ask you your name and where you're from? My name is Kian and I'm from Iran, like the others. All right. <laughs> it seems like a good time of the day for people in Iran, right? <laughs> yeah. They're, they're very active on Instagram. Uh-huh. And can I ask you a question? Does, does YouTube work in Iran? Mm, no, it's filtered, but we uh, we can you know use it uh, by turning on a VPN. Okay, okay, kind of like in China, they block a lot of sites, but then you can use a VPN to kind of get around it. Okay. Yeah, exactly. All right. So, are you familiar with the process? Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So I will show you a picture and pretend I can't. Okay. I can't see it, and you describe it to me, all right? Okay. All right, let's see. Okay. All right. All right, I'm going to disappear, and here comes the okay. picture. All right. Oh, I think this one is a bit hard for me. <laughs> There's a woman, and she's kind of, you know, she's on a balcony, and um, you know, there I can see a door um, in the background and a, a yellow wall and um, a window as well. Uh, the you know the woman is trying to hang um, um, a kind of clothes um, to you know. So I'm trying to, um, uh, how can I say, to, uh, to hang, um, you know, a kind of cloth on a, a rope to, uh, you know, dry it uh, in the sunshine. Right. Or in the sun. Right. Yeah, she she's wearing... Uh, um, um, check. No, it's not checked. It's kind of spotted um, dress. Okay. And what else? So I don't know. She right. she. Okay. If if you you know, have any questions, I can answer. But I don't really. See anything else? <laughs> yeah, very, very well done. Um, I'm just going to switch back quick and say way to go because when you guys come on here, from the teacher's point of view, it's we're used to teaching, right? But when the students come on, it takes a lot of guts. It takes a lot of to be bold and daring. Way to go! All right. So thank you. Thank you. I will. Uh, we'll talk about the picture. All right. I think you did very well. Okay, so let me just ask you a couple questions. And okay, sure. Back into focus. Oh, so first off, have you heard of the word? Whoop! Have you heard the word clothesline? Not really. All right. So clothesline is like the the rope, or maybe it's a uh -huh. wire or something that is stretched that they can hang the clothes on, right? And yeah, it just, it just holds it. All right. And the lady, could you describe her hair? How is her hair and how would you describe it? She's got mm, she's got brown uh hair. Uh it's been tied. And mm, what else? <laughs> uh-huh. You could say it's been pulled up and tied to the top of her head. To, to, to the, the back oh. of her head, like in a, a bun or in a bundle in the back of her head. Oh, okay. Thank and, you. Sure. How would you describe her sleeves? The dress, the, mm. what, what would you say? Uh, her, you know, her dress doesn't have sleeves and 
her hands, I mean her arms are um, bare or naked. Sure. Sure. You could say her. she has a sleeveless dress on. And uh, before, I'm not quite sure what pattern her dress is. It looks, the colors maybe are black and white. Um, maybe it's polka dot or maybe they're little squares, but it's hard to tell because it's a little bit farther away. Um, um, what, yeah. what level do you think she's on in the building? Do you think she's on the ground floor or on a different level? No. No, I think she she might be on uh, on the first floor, not first floor, because, uh, you know, in America, as, I, as far as I know, you call um, the ground floor as first floor. <laughs> uh, so she might be on the second floor or above. Right, right. Yeah, we do. We say first floor as in the the one you're standing in on the ground all the way at the bottom. But other countries, they'll say the first floor is what we would call the second floor, right? Very good. Yeah, thank and you. And what kind of clothing do you think she's hanging? What kind of uh, what kind of piece of clothing is it, do you think? Well, it's not, mm, it's not clear for me. Maybe a, a blouse or mm, pants or... or a pair of pants or some pants, I don't know. Yeah. It's hard to tell what it is. I guess we could just talk yeah. about the possibilities, maybe a shirt, maybe a pair of pants. Um, but it's yeah. it's, it's, prob it's probably not like a coat or a hat. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. For, for me, it's not obvious. Yeah. Right. And do you think she has more clothing to hang or just this one piece? Mm, just one piece. I can't see um, other clothes. Right. And it's possible off the screen, maybe she has a basket of clothing. And maybe she's... Yeah, maybe. Maybe this is just the first one that she's hanging. Uh, it, maybe it, the last one as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. It's possible. Since it's a picture and we don't know the history or the information, we just kind of have to talk about what it is. So if this uh -huh. if this was a movie, what title would you give it? Um, the Laundry Woman. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, there's wow, tons of possibilities. Maybe a peaceful yeah. a peaceful summer day doing the laundry. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, Mm, the the woman who um, who how, how can I say it um, the woman who, um, who I don't know uh, hang the clothes the laundry <laughs> I don't know <laughs> sure sure and here I'll do one more question and then I'll switch around and you can ask me a question um, what do you think okay. what do you think she she will do in or what will she be doing in 30 minutes? Maybe she'll be back and, uh, you know, take the laundry back in, in the house because sure. it might be dry. Uh-huh. Um, I just have to say one of the comments I saw, uh, it looks like Rit, Rimat B said, I'll call the movie, I Ain't Your Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I thought that was funny. <laughs> Another one is the woman from the 13th floor. Ooh. In, Ooh. Let me ask you a question. <clears throat> Here, I'll flip back around. In some countries, the number 13 is considered unlucky. <clears throat> is, is in it like, our countries as well. In our, I mean, in our country as well, yeah. Okay. And depending how superstitious people are, I've seen some buildings, when you go up in the elevator, it goes from 12 to 14 and it skips 13 oh I didn't know that it, it depends on how superstitious <laughs> the people are yeah yeah I, maybe <clears throat> so but you know um, I'm living in a place where <laughs> you know the the buildings are not that tall uh -huh. so I I can't you know I can't <clears throat> barely uh, see you know um, uh, an apartment which has more than 12, uh, you know, 
uh, floors. More than 12 floors or 12 stories? So how about, yeah. um, how about if the houses are just side by side? What do people think if they are house number 13? Does it? Mm, it's not just about, you know, have houses. It's, it's, you know, we call, we kind of think that this number is, um, uh, this kind of brings us um, on, I don't know, um, bad, bad luck. Bad luck, yeah. 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 All right. So, okay. Is there any uh, other questions? No. Nope. Uh, your turn. Do you have a question for me? Um, well, I don't have a question. I just want to appreciate for what you're doing for us. And I've been uh, following your page uh, for a long time, and I really like what, you know, the stuff you do on Instagram. So thank you. Well, thank, thank you very much. I appreciate your very kind words. And it's, thank I think you. it's easier for us because we have fun. We enjoy, <laughs> we enjoy doing exactly. it. Exactly. So hopefully, yeah, you guys... I think, uh -huh. yeah, this is a, uh, it's a kind of a good um, uh, game. It's just a, like a game, and I think people like it. Uh, well, I like it myself, and I hope that the others do. <laughs> so thank you for having me. It was a pleasure talking to you. Sure. Uh, and thank you, the followers who supported us. Sure. I'm just going to say one more thing. <clears throat> someone okay. told me someone told me the other day they said that when they first started following our account they thought that I was kind of strange <laughs> <laughs> no I, I think it's not no, yeah it's not were. strange it's, <laughs> they didn't I like your style <laughs> but they didn't say it in a, a an insult they weren't trying to insult me they were saying that at the beginning it seemed a little bit strange maybe like unique and then they said that <laughs> The, that the way it, the way I did it, it helped to stick in their mind. So hopefully that yeah. works with people. Yeah, you know, the way you uh, teach stuff is kind of uh, funny and humorous, and I, I think it's going to help us learn English better. And as you know, people like funny things. So uh, I really like your page, and thank you for all you're doing for us. Okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate you coming on. It takes a lot of guts. It takes a lot of being bold. <clears throat> so, okay. It's, it was my pleasure, and I enjoyed talking to you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Excuse me. I got to cough for a moment <clears throat> and take a drink of water. I find... When I talk so much, I started out here, and now I'm down to here. So I guess it's good to stay hydrated. Just when I talk, I need to keep drinking. Okay, so let's see. I have a request. Let's see where, who else is here. Let's see, we just did two guys in a row. Let's see if there are any females. Looks like they're all guys, unless I don't know if Lost Soul is a female or not. Let's give it a try. We'll try to add Lost Soul 137. Sounds like a good name for a movie. Lost Soul. All right, let's see if it's a man or a woman. Surprise. Hello. Hello. Surprise. All right. Hi. I, picked, I picked well. I tried to go <laughs> man, then woman, man, and woman. <clears throat> and if you, yeah, don't want, if you don't want to show your face, no worries. So, Thank uh, you. What is your name, if you want to share, or and where are you from? I'm Lily. I'm originally from Syria, and I live in Kuwait. Okay. Well, welcome. Thank you. You know, I've just woken up, so if you want to ask me any question, let it be easy, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, <clears throat> um, have you watched us before? Uh, I'll just explain this how things... Uh, this okay. is the first time I'm watching your live, but I, uh, I'm a follower uh, okay. since uh, maybe one month or two months for your page. Okay. I like it. Okay. I like that kid you make the video with. 
Yeah. I like your I like idioms. And your way is uh, hilarious, you, you know. Well, thank you. And I just wanted to let you know how we do the lives. This part is um, I show you a picture. And so I'll, okay. I'll, dis I'll disappear and I'll show you a picture. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. And pretend, okay. pretend you're talking to either me or a friend on the phone. So the person you're talking to can't see the picture. And so you try to describe what you're seeing, okay? And if okay. if it's difficult, as, or you, go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. As uh, if I'm uh, explaining the picture to someone else. Right. Pretend the other person cannot see the picture with you. Okay. Uh -huh. So there is someone with me, and I want to explain the picture to him to guess what is there, right? Sure. Just. Like you're describing the picture. There's the idiom, a picture okay. paints a thousand words, but just pretend the other people can't see the picture. And uh, so describe it. And if you have any trouble, I'll help you out and I'll ask you some questions and we'll talk about it, okay? Okay, you'll help me because I, I have a golden fish memory, okay? Well, I think the first thing, if you're willing to come live, you must be pretty confident, and I think that's great. Because yeah. <laughs> it, it, it guarantees, if you're confident to do things like this, it guarantees that you will improve. Because coming on like this, it's uncomfortable, right? It's new, you're not sure yeah. what this, this crazy teacher <laughs> will do, <laughs> right? But because you're willing to move forward, all right. Okay, I'm yeah. talking to you. Let's get to the picture, are you ready? Okay, go ahead. All right, I'm going to turn the picture or the camera around and I'm going to disappear. Here we go. All right. Okay. So, nice. Right. So there is a picture and we have uh, in the background we have a sunset. It's amazing and in the in front of the picture we have uh, a horse, a black one, like the one in my photo. Or profile photo. Oh yeah. And okay. What else? The sea is uh, at the background. Okay. And uh, some waves. A reflection uh, of the sun is on water. Okay. And what else? The sky seems uh, colorful by orange and red uh, colors. That's it. Okay. Yeah, what else? I think that is very uh, good. The, uh, go ahead. Okay. Um, mm, I like the horse, by the way. I like this animal too much. Um, what can I say about it? <clears throat> it seems to me like it's uh, running through water. Okay. Um... And what? Hey, guys, can you see anything else? Help me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I see comments. A horse surprise. All right. So, oh, here's, the word. here's the word I was going after. Let's see. What do you call it? I'll describe it. We can't see the details of the horse, right? We can't quite see the the pattern on its uh Skin, we can't see the if it has a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you call yeah. it? You can only see the outline. And the light's coming from behind, and we're seeing the outline of the horse, and it's dark. What What is that the called? Shadow. shadow. The shadow of the... Yeah. That's close, and the shadow would be projected onto the ground, right? But if we just yeah. look, look at the horse right now, there's a word that starts with an S, and it would describe... Okay. Let's see. All right, I'm going to move it up so you can see, hopefully... Here we go. Okay. Silhouette. Uh huh. Silhouette. I haven't yeah. seen this word before. All so right. It's a new yeah. one. Yeah. Great. Well, that's an opportunity. Okay. So I find it better to put it in context because if we just take each word by itself, we get the meaning, but we can get it better in context. So I would say the horse's silhouette. And a silhouette is just, it's, you can see the outline, right? 
I can't see all yeah. the details, but it's obvious enough to see it's a horse, right? But we can't quite tell yeah. what color it is. We can't see the eye color or stuff like that. So we can say the horse's silhouette. Can you say silhouette? Silhouette. Silhouette. All right. And the shadow would probably be somewhere over here. Can you see my mouse? Yeah, yeah, I see it. Right. So the shadow is the light comes, it the light hits this, and then the horse blocks some of the light so the shadow goes down over there, right? I think yeah. description, yeah. description was very well done. Um if you had to choose an emotion, how does this mm -hmm. picture how does this picture make you feel? Mm, slow emotion maybe. You know, slow motion or emotion. Emotion um it makes you feel maybe optimistic this animal always makes me optimistic i feel oh. like magnificence and uh, you know greatness and those are the, the emotions these are great words right positive yeah. uh freedom energetic. freedom energetic yeah. right and, yeah, it's a symbol of freedom uh-huh and do you know a lot Strength. about hope? Do you know a lot about horses? Strength. Actually, I'm uh, an Arab lady, so it, it is uh, connected strongly to our culture. Okay. I don't know if you if you know about it. Yeah, well, I, well, we have guys... this uh, horse, horse, uh -huh. uh, and uh, our guide. Okay, Allah swears uh, by the horse in uh, the Holy Quran. Okay. okay, so it's, yeah, it's uh, something great in our culture, religion, and, um, you know, in, in our past. Okay, all right, well, um, maybe, you, maybe you can teach me something, because I'm not a horse expert, I've heard a few things, and the thing, one thing about the horse that made me look at it was its tail, and um, yeah. Horses, yeah. horses uh, from what I can tell, horses, you know, animals have emotions too. They can be scared, they can be excited, happy, all that. And if you were looking at the horse's tail, what kind of emotion do you think the horse feels? The horse feels uh, confident, maybe. And this is where my question comes in. I've heard that when horses are either happy or they're, like I said, confident, they're, they want, you know, they're in a good emotional place, their, their, their tail goes up in the back. Uh -huh. And okay. sometimes, sometimes even higher, I've seen in the back, when they're really happy, they're running, they're free, all that stuff. So it just made me think maybe the horse is kind of happy. And if they're like the opposite, they're stressed out, the, horse, the tail goes down, I think. Similar to kind of like a dog. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but yeah. I'm not expert. <laughs> so, Maybe the horse is one of uh, the animals that I can draw. Uh, by the way, I like drawing. It's my favorite hobby. But um, when it comes to animals, I like to draw the horse. Only uh -huh. the horse. Uh, yeah. mag it's a magnificent animal. And, yeah. And, you know, it's tail in specific. Um, I like to draw uh, or hair styling for women okay and the the hair of the tail uh i don't know but i imagine it like the hair of the lady all the time and uh, i like drawing it uh -huh. so yeah that kind of tie the horse tie or the horse hairstyle i like it so much uh-huh and if you yeah. if this picture was from Maybe a movie or in a magazine. What title do you think mm -hmm. the picture would have? Okay. Um, um, uh, like riding a horse. Sure. Yeah. I would think, and just popped into my head, maybe like... Uh, magnificent sunset. Yeah, just magnificent. I like the word magnificent. Like you said, it's kind of an inspiring picture. It has good, good vibes and good emotions. Yeah, 
Black Beauty uh-huh. um, was uh, a film I watched it watched it maybe 10 years ago and it's one of my favorite films uh-huh um yeah i think that reminds me of it and in the comments uh it looks like other people said black beauty and hugo english says honeymoon with lily i don't know if that's the name <laughs> <laughs> hi go, hi go. Hey, I'm waiting for you to go live, okay? So <laughs> I'm saying in public, I'm waiting for you. You are the next. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a challenge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. I'm I'm going to flip back around and once okay. people once people see me, they probably miss the horse. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> the horse. The horse picture is so beautiful. Okay. So yeah. Um, th- this part is why I, I asked you a bunch of questions and we talked. Now it's your opportunity, if you have a question for me, uh, I'll try to answer. A question about what? Your choice. It's open. And I would urge you to not ask like okay. grammar rules and stuff because <laughs> I, did, <laughs> I, did, I did a video before and I'll try to be really short and sweet that sometimes yeah. my students will, they'll they'll complain a bit that they don't have access to native English speakers. And so I yeah. say that when you are able to speak with a native English speaker, I urge you don't ask about the present tense, the past tense, all that stuff. I urge <laughs> you to use the native speaker for their expertise, for communication, for speaking, conversation. Yeah, yeah, daily life conversations. Yeah, I, I do agree with you. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, I'm not going to ask you anything about grammar. Uh, <laughs> let me ask you about your dream in life. What is your dream? My dream? Yeah. Wow. So my goals in life? Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Well, <clears throat> if I had to put it in one sentence or one phrase, I guess I would say... Mm-hmm. Freedom of time and place. Wow. Freedom and time. No, free, oh, that, that, free, yeah, free, yeah, free. time and place. And, and time is more important. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Super good. Okay. Um, do you have anything that you did in the past and you regret it? <laughs> is this a job <laughs> interview? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, here's a good example. Just right in front of me, it popped into my head. I've had this account for over a year, I think, and I regret that I didn't go live earlier. I think it would have been much better if I would have done live videos like this earlier. Yeah, sure. So, yeah, sure. Yeah, we miss a lot with you. Okay. Uh, tell us about that kid uh, that you saw in the videos with you. The, my daughter. Uh, it's yeah. She, she's my daughter. She's nine years old. She's almost ten. Uh, she is pretty cool. By the way, she doesn't look like you. She's so cool. Yeah, she's very cool. Are you saying I'm yeah. not? Are you saying I'm not cool? <laughs> no, you are cool. I'm saying about your look. Uh, she doesn't look lo- like you. Okay, so what is, uh, what is your? I guess? thought she's one of your relatives or one of your friends uh, kids not yours ah so she's my kid she's my direct kid by blood right yeah. so we're related by blood uh, and so what are the okay. possi- what are the possibilities because she doesn't quite look like me right so what are the possibilities yeah. what do you think uh maybe uh, your wife is from um another yeah, region of roots yes my wife is chinese so yeah that's it okay got it <laughs> yeah right. yeah i i thought so okay and um if we want to take you to a television program what do you prefer <laughs> which kind of programs do you prefer well since you're asking the question i'm going to give direct answers i don't watch tv <laughs> <laughs> at all. 
Not at all. Once in a while, I watch a movie and sometimes some、uh, videos on YouTube. But actually,、mm-hmm. when I'll, I'll share <laughs> not not a secret, just a piece of information. When we started、yeah. to rent, we rented our apartment. It had a TV in、mm-hmm. it, and I asked the people, "Can you remove the TV?" And they were a little. They're like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, you're weird. Yeah. But there's here's this is a perfect time for、uh, an idiom. There's a method to my madness, <laughs> which means、oh, there's there's a, a there's a, a re- method. There's a there's a reason for me being maybe weird or strange. For me, in、mm-hmm. my opinion, don't have to accept or agree. I find TV to be a distraction, and it's,、mm, it's an okay. unnecessary unnecessary distraction that doesn't help me reach my goals. Right. And、But sometimes, you know, sometimes watching movies is something good when you have nothing to do, or when you、uh, have, you know, some feelings like bored or、uh, anything else. You like to watch something on TV, don't you? I agree. I, well, not TV because、well, we don't have a TV, <laughs> but movies, yes. And the internet is incredible. I, I guess I should add one more thing: is that with TV. And it's different in different countries, but what I remember back in the U.S., I mean, you can just keep going if you're bored, and just keep going, and you look and you look, yeah, yeah, all, all channels, yeah, that's right? it, right? That's and, it, yeah. And that,、uh, I don't like that. I like more the internet base because when I look on the internet, it's a specific、mm. place that I want to go, and I'm not just waiting for people to put things in front of me. <laughs> I feel more that I'm directing、uh-huh. my energy. Yeah. Okay. So, tell us about your favorite kind of films and one of your favorites. Wow, this one question is like ten questions. <laughs> that's that's okay.、Uh, let's see. Wow, there's a lot of good movies. If I have to pick one <clears throat> that pops into my head, just a really good movie that I've enjoyed over and over,、uh, Forrest Gump.、Yeah. Again, please. Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. Okay, which kind of movies is it? Well, I guess in that one is kind of a mix—a drama, suspense, family.、Mm-hmm. Uh, nice. Uh, let me、I、show、like、you. It. It's Forrest Gump. I can maybe show you a picture in a sec. Here we go. And it's、mm-hmm. by an actor. I'm gonna switch my camera around. I'm gonna use、mm-hmm. my computer one second.、Uh, there we are. Okay. So the, this is the movie. Tom Hanks,、mm-hmm. the actor, and the movie came out like、yeah. in nineteen ninety. I don't know, long, quite a while ago. And so yeah, it sounds good. good. But it's about his life, and he's he's not very intelligent, but he has the the tenacity and discipline to just keep going and going and going and going. He does incredible things.、All、right. Uh. And the same,、uh, you ask a question,、uh, so that's where the freedom you speak about comes from.、Um, when it comes to freedom, there is a film. It's amazing from my point of view. I don't know if you、uh, watch it. It's called Django Free, and I think it's more than amazing because it symbolizes the greatness of freedom. And every time I watch it, I like, I, you know, I feel like I, I'm that actor, I'm that Django, and、uh, I get my freedom every time I watch it.、That's、Have、cool. you ever watched it? Oh no, Leonardo DiCaprio, and、um, you know, those、It's、past. Jimmy、uh, Fox, right? Yeah. I think his name is. Yeah. 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 It's called J- Django Unchained, right? Django Unchained. Yeah, yeah, Django Unchained. That's it. Yeah, yeah. It <laughs> it made me crazy. Every time I see it, it I feel something like you know, it's it's something、uh, in the inner side of every human being. And the ending was something great, not like the. The films that we have, this, those sad endings that are related to our sad life, real life. No, he got his freedom by his hand. So, I like that actor and the way he acted the film. 
with that uh, dentist with them and it was amazing all right okay so continue continue your uh, <laughs> your well, favorite have... movie was this oh well it's hard to uh, it's hard to pick just one of anything when there's such a huge wealth of great movies right but this is one that just pops into my head that I've watched a few times and actually I looked I listened to the audiobook version and it was almost completely mm -hmm. is is interesting I like to read books a lot audiobooks I really like they're just they're great oh, nice and nice uh, sometimes when they take the audiobook and then they put it into a, or just the book and they put it into a movie it's like mm. <laughs> it changes mm -hmm. completely but that's it's a challenge yeah. right? when you take have 11 hours or 15 hours of a book and yeah, then you have cool. this one movie yeah you know a few a few days ago i was listening to the merchant of venice and uh with the script with the um, uh, written script and i think it's good it's a good one uh i recommend it for those who like reading mm -hmm. uh, it's a good one by shakespeare mm -hmm. i'm reading yeah. I actually have a couple going at the moment, but one that I'm listening to is, it's a nonfiction. It's by Grant Cardone, mm -hmm. a very successful businessman, and it's called The 10X mm -hmm. Rule. And it's very inspirational, mm -hmm. it's life strategy type of things, and I think it's pretty mm, good. Nice. Okay, cool. Come on. Okay. Uh, hey, what about I'm novels? What's that? Tell us about novels. Novels? No what is your novels. favorite novel? Yeah. Oh boy! Oh. You know, um, <laughs> many many is on your know, in the way because um, I studied English literature at the university, so I'm so interested in novels, short stories, poetry, and stuff. So I like to discuss those things. I don't know if you like them or not. I, I'll be honest. <laughs> you with seem you. not. I, I never. Enjoy, <laughs> I. I, I I never enjoyed poetry. <laughs> yeah. And I, I'm not trying to offend you. I'm just going to give you my point of view. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe it was because when I last studied poetry, I was in high school and I was focused on other things, right? And when they, mm -hmm. what is the meaning? What is the meaning behind this? <laughs> and it, it would be like, it'd be like the ball it's, is red. yeah it's between yeah to read between the lines yeah right you are right but, but you know when you read uh the background of the history at that uh, uh uh let's say period of time when the poet wrote his poetry uh, i think you will get the idea the whole idea uh, and don't concentrate you know on every single word just the whole meaning it will be something well, good li life is a trip and i'm always experiencing new things so i'm trying mm -hmm. to keep an open mind going into the future because there's just so much mm -hmm. to experience yeah okay well, i have to i have to cut our conversation short because there are other people okay. as well and we've been yeah yeah i'm so sorry yeah <laughs> i i took your time i'm sorry okay well if it was if, if it was that bad i would have said something before i had a great time chatting with you Wonderful. Yeah, me too. My <laughs> honor to have you <laughs> and to to have me with your live, great live. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you very much. You too. Bye. All right. Bye bye. Okay. Interesting conversation. When you guys ask me questions and I'm not not ready for ready for the question it's great make me feel a little bit uncomfortable right <laughs> okay all right let's see what do we have for requests i can go a little bit longer let's see what we have da, 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 da. how about let's see i've seen this name for a while jorge luis, luis Caz, casares 16. let's see if you're there so it says waiting for jose luis is unable to join See, Hosan Missouri says, are you English? I speak English, but I'm American. So I'm not British. I'm not English. Let's see. All right. So I don't have anybody else that is requesting. To, oh, here we go. What do we have? 
Mm, this one's been waiting for a while, I think. All right. Ever is unable to join. Ever one three five seven three says it's you're un, it's unable to join. All right, let's try Osgur's photo. Declined. All right. Okay, let's see. We'll try Maslumson Mez. Unable to join. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Key in English, when will you do your next live? I'll put a countdown in, on my website. If you go to uh, ableenglish.com, or able idioms, sorry, ableidioms.com, and one of the choices is, uh, what is it, free live English? I should look it up. Here we go. I'm going to switch my screen. Oh, here's someone. Ah, they popped up. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hello. So can I get your name and where you're from? All right. The connection seems to be in and out. Hello? I think the connection is having a little bit of difficulty. We can try for a little bit longer. Can you hear me okay? Hello? Uh -huh. I, can you hear me? Uh, there yeah, it's kind of not so good. Can you give me your name and where you're, where you're from? Uh, I am Jorge Luis. I'm from Mexico. Uh, it's actually in Sonora. Okay. It's in the south of Arizona. Aha. So, me imagino que hablas español. What? I can't. You are so smart. <laughs> I'm not supposed to speak in, in other languages while I'm here, right? Because we're focusing on English. All right, so welcome. Yeah. Welcome from Mexico. Okay. And do you know, have you watched before? Do you know how this works? So I will show you a. Yeah, it, it's like. Uh huh. Yeah, it's like I need to describe a photo or picture. Yeah. Right. Okay, so I will show you a picture and you tell me about it. Are you ready to go? No. Yeah. Right. Okay, here we go. I'm going to disappear, and here's the picture. Whoop. There we are. Hold on. Let me, <laughs> let me get it in focus. One. Okay. So, what do you see? Uh, I see a couple. All right. Uh, they are running. Uh, the, the man, it's... Has uh, orange. Uh, the woman has a uh, blue shirt okay. and a black let the black leggings suit. Uh, white shoot white tennis and the man uh, brown tennis. And I guess they are a couple. Okay. Or maybe friends, I don't know. Yeah. Sure. And you said they're running. Um, are they, why do you think they're running? Uh, because the movement. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, sure. Body. I, I agree. And what is the purpose? What are they running for? What is the reason that they're running? Oh, uh, because they want to get a healthy life. Uh -huh. Um, the kid did the stress week, maybe. <laughs> ah, so they're exercising. Yeah. You, you don't you don't think that someone is chasing them? <laughs> uh, no. No. Uh, they are. They're probably exercising. Or maybe. Uh huh. Or maybe they need to arrive to the school at time. <laughs> I don't know. Right. That's maybe. another possibility. So maybe they're in a hurry. They have to arrive somewhere very, very yeah. soon, and they're late. Oh, or, or, no. So the woman had a sport clothes, but the men no. Okay. Maybe uh, they are. Uh, maybe it was uh, accident. Ah.
looking for uh, help, maybe, because uh, the man doesn't have a, a sport clothes. Right. So the, the lady, you could say she has exercise clothing or sports clothing. The man, he looks like he just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he has just regular pants and... Yeah. Yeah, a normal. Like a normal day. So is, is it possible that the woman was running alone and the man is like, wow, she's beautiful. <laughs> and he, and he, he wanted to go exercise with her and he's like... Hey baby, how's it going? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, oh, I am following. I am following you. <laughs> so there are many, many possibilities, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there are a, a lot of theories. <laughs> sure. So let's see. So we have two people running. They're not wearing the same kind of clothing. But for some reason, they're running. <clears throat> yeah. If you gave it a title, the title of the picture, if it was a movie, what would you call it? Pardon? You could you sure. Read? If this was a movie, what do you think the name of the movie would be? Mm. Uh, follow you. <laughs> 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 sure. Or uh, uh, the way. Maybe. Sure. Or we could give it a long, a super long title, like <clears throat> "Unlucky Woman is Chased by <laughs> Crazy Man." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When you are in love, maybe you can make uh, so crazy things. Sure. Okay, so I'm going to switch back around. All right. Very well done. Good job. Okay. All right, so Take I, I asked you questions. Do you have a question for me? Oh, great. Do, do you have any? any? So you, you fears or me? Do, do you have a question for me? Oh, a question. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's like, <laughs> so I have... I had six months with my learning English, and it's like I I am problem, yeah, but it's like <laughs> I sometimes I decline. It's like I am on a normal day and I didn't uh, study. But uh, I mean, I, I have a question is like you can to uh, learn more without study because it's like uh, I. Speed a lot of with friends and calls and texts, but I sometimes I didn't study. It's like it's effective, or you need to study a lot for that. Uh huh. And when when you say study, do you mean with uh, like a book and in a classroom? Yeah, like a book or a platform. Ah. Because I have a I I I am in, in an English school. And it's like. There we have a platform, like for to do a lessons and have a vocabulary, uh, like 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 class, like something like that in the camera, but with a te teachers and is that a, a, cl a class? Uh -huh. Well, I think my, my you you asked me a question and I would have a question for you. Is what is your goal? Why are you studying? Oh. Why are you studying English? Oh. So, uh, I um I want to just I I I don't know yet, but I am between medicine and education for uh, I will study in university and in both I want to improve because for example in medicine there are a lot of uh, uh, continent in English the boots the the conference there are a lot of and it's like if you don't don't know English you are lost. <laughs> you need to learn, uh, and it's like I want to uh, to be a great doctor and can exchange in, in, for example, United States for a study my dad. And if it's education, I want to uh, to be invest investigator, like for improve the education in Mexico, and I need the English for ample my continent. Sure. Well, it, it sounds to me both of those possibilities have a specific 
specific set of vocabulary, phrases, expressions that are specific to that industry. Yeah. But also, they, a, a doctor or the education, you always deal with people, right? So you need the, the conversation, communication, yeah. all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's like, <clears throat> and it's like the conversation, I, I, and I have the practice conversation because I, every, every day I talk with a friend in a group, group scout and something like that. And it's like, sometimes I forget, I forget the study. It's like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. I, I would. It's, it's like I went to study, uh, for example, thirty minutes every. Uh, that's it. And it's like the first day, yes. The the, the second of oh, twenty five or the three. Oh, I forget that. It's like. <laughs> well, I think it's procrastination. It's the, <laughs> the word. <laughs> well, I think it will, it will help you <laughs> if you have very clear goals, very clear purpose. Why you're studying English? Because then it becomes clear what what you need to do to get there. If you want to become a doctor, you need the medical terminology, you need the medicine, you yeah. need to study yeah. that stuff, right? But you also need to figure out how to talk probably with patients, uh, those kind of interactions. So I think you can, you can learn a lot if you're not in a classroom. Just, I mean, we're not in a classroom right now, we're talking, I think you're probably learning something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Every day, it's a new word, a new expression, a new way to say uh, 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 a toll in you. It's like, oh, there's new. Oh, cool. Right. Well, I would say... For example, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like it's, uh, every conversation is like, hey, how are you? Hey, I'm fine. But it's like, there are a lot of words to say the same, to say that. No, no, just gray, or I am fine, or oh, I'm good. <laughs> You're gonna change more. Right? Well, here, here's one trick that I would offer when I was studying Spanish or Indonesian or a different language. It's try to hang around people who speak much better than you. <laughs> because if, 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 you, if you hang around people that speak better than you, it'll pull you up, right? If you hang around people oh, yeah, who yeah. don't speak very well, it'll pull you down. If you, pick, if you hang around people that speak the same as you, yeah. it helps, but it won't make you improve as fast, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it, it's, it's to ch change that. To our, yeah, it's like when the United speakers, that there's, there's here and I am, uh, I have the votes, it's like there's, it's so different because uh, he knows a lot of it's that every every life talking this language and you know I'd like oh you can improve a lot with the, with with them. Okay, well, I need to go because it's getting pretty late here. <laughs> oh. Well, not su not super <laughs> late, but I've been on live for a long time today. So I say thank you very much for coming on. You you have confidence at the begin at the oh. beginning. You seem a little bit nervous. But you still push. You keep going forward. Great. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you so okay. much. Okay. All right. There's a. There's. Uh huh. Good. Good. Job. Okay. <laughs> Have a good day. All good. right. Hasta good. luego. Bye. Adios. <laughs> okay. All right. That was fun. I was on for quite a while with you guys today. Okay, I'm going to quick look at something, and then I have to go <laughs> because I've been here for a long time, and I've got other stuff to do. But I wanted to answer someone's question that they had asked before. When am I going live again? I have to reset my timer, but if you go to, if you go to my website, you can see I put a... Uh, all right, so if you go to ableidioms.com, ooh, I remember these people. And if you go right here, it says, see live English lessons. You click on that. It brings you to the timer, and I have to reset the timer, but I will put a timer when the next lesson will be. I try to do it every few days. And if you want to see past lessons, sometimes I put them down here too. Okay. So let me switch back around, and that's going to be, I think,
think it for today. But I will say, let's see, ain't the same says, have you considered going live with other teachers? Hmm. I don't know. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm trying to think the the most value that I can provide my followers. And I don't know. I would leave it open as a possibility. But I haven't watched a lot of lives. Uh, but the ones that I have watched when there are two teachers, say they talk about life and they talk about stuff that, you know, they enjoy and stuff. Mm, that's great. I like to have more of a lesson where I can help the followers directly and hopefully provide them a lot of value. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm open. I, I will see what happens. Let's see, Jasmine, 19, 1991, dear teacher, if I watch you every day, will it improve my English? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> it will improve your knowledge of idioms for sure and conversation. Okay. All right. Okay. So I got to, I need to go. <laughs> Thank you. You guys are wonderful. So we'll see you next time. Have a good day wherever you are in the world.